Welcome to the AI for Good Global Summit. Our guest is Janet Adams. She's the Chief Operating Officer of Singularity Net. Janet, welcome. Thank you, Gillian, for having me here in your lovely team at AI for Good. It's wonderful to be here. You're very welcome. How important is um, a, an, an event like this AI for Good Summit in terms of the, the dialogue for AI? We're at the foothills of the AI revolution, and the AI revolution has been predicted by Jeff Bezos to be bigger than the mobile and internet revolutions combined. It's going to be the biggest, the fastest, and the fastest technology revolution ever. And the most important imperative of our time is that these technologies are used for good, and that the technology-generated wealth goes to the people who need it. What are you doing then with AI? We're the world's leading decentralized AI marketplace and platform where people can upload AIs onto our marketplace and, and stream them. And we're also, our core mission is development of AGI, artificial general intelligence. And here at SingularityNet, we're estimating that we're three to seven years away from human level artificial general intelligence. And so the most important thing is that these technologies, when they're developed, are, are for everybody. That we decentralize access to wealth, democratize access to technology, and that it's the rising tide that floats all the boats and it's n leaves nobody behind. So what are you doing that helps to uh, benefit these specific problems that we have? these um, problems with poverty and, and, and these global problems? So AGI as a technology, being human level to, uh, intelligence and then super intelligence in and of itself is designed to resolve the issues that humanity faces on the planet today, including all of the SDGs. Its potential is, is unimaginable, but on a very practical basis, we have the Grace robot here with us. She's an elderly healthcare robot. She's a robot who's been designed for unconditional, compassionate, loving assistance to elderly people, assisting aging with dignity. Um, and we've also got the Desdemona robot with us, who is our pop star robot, and she's bringing art and creativity and helping humans humans to understand that robots and AI is here for a beautiful future and help to dispel all of the fear and, and worry that people have about AI. So we're here to help bring humanity forwards. Uh, our robots are the little sister of the Sophia robot from Hanson Robotics. What are the challenges around the AI and guidelines? I know you're not so keen on, on guidelines. You talked about decentralization. Tell me about that. Well, I am keen on guidelines. I worked in regulation in financial services for, for a couple of decades. And my master's thesis was on regulatory compliance of AI. And I'm an expert in the field, a published expert in the field. And the guidelines are important, but are they going to actually influence the technology? They will always be behind, and how are they going to be monitored and checked and controlled? Whereas diversity and inclusion, if you have the broadest group of people, including women, including people from, from, from every country, involved in the development and the oversight of AI as a technology, then that has a, a, a stronger, more likely outcome of success for positive AI. Okay, what about the place for women in AI? Women are so important, right? We're loving, we're compassionate, we're kind. Men are too, but we're, our, our biases, our weights are, are, are different. And we bring, you know, we bring beauty, we bring femininity, we bring, we're, we're mother. There's a reason why, why people talk about mother nature. It's really important that women are involved in AI and in AI for good, so that we bring that, that social caring to the development of technologies. And at SingularityNet, we have an active policy of promoting, nurturing, hiring, uh, female executives and indeed other genders as well. Does that, I, I guess, spill into the education? There needs to be more education and more women coming in? We, uh, absolutely. So right through, right through the educational pipeline, we need more women in STEM, generally speaking. We need women to come and get involved in AI. And what we've seen this year, 2023, with the release of ChatGPT, the latest versions, 
is people around the world are understanding that you don't have to be a technologist to use AI to, to expand your impact in the world, to increase your productivity. And so really women, you know, just all women come and get involved in AI because it needs us. Brilliant. Janet Adams of Singularity Net, thank you so much for your time. Beautiful to meet you. Thank you. More coming up on the AI for Good Global Summit here in Geneva. Thank you.